guys, I'm Ravo7 and today I'm going to be talking about the new updates made to the iPod Touch and also why Apple did not put the camera on the iPod Touch. So at the 090909 event, Apple announced the new 3.1 software update for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. They also announced price cuts for the iPod Touch range as well. The 8GB is now $199, but it's still the same and no hardware updates have been made, so technically it's still the second generation. The 16GB has been scrapped, but the 32GB still remains and will now cost you $299. But they now have a 64 gigabyte version that will set you back $399. The price cuts are pretty significant, but I can't really see the 64 gigabyte selling as well as the others, especially with the high price tag. The 32 gigabyte and also 64 gigabyte versions now have faster processors and run OpenGL ES2, which will make the new iPod Touch 50% faster than its predecessor. And OpenGL ES2 is also run on the iPhone, making the iPhone and the iPod Touch the same speed. So before the keynote, strong rumours were going around suggesting that a 64GB version would be announced and also a fast processor would be included and then rumours turned out to be true. But there's one more even stronger rumour going around that there was to be a new camera on the iPod Touch and did it happen? No. Because of this a lot of people were disappointed but not me. I mean, don't get me wrong, a camera on the iPod Touch would make it even better. I mean, I've got a second generation no camera, but I'm not going to get the third generation. But surely a camera would practically make it an iPhone. In addition, before the keynote, there were four main things missing from the touch that would make it effectively the same as an iPhone. These were a faster processor, a camera, voice control, and an actual phone feature, which can be used to make calls and text messages. The faster processor and voice control have now been installed onto the iPod Touch, and if a new camera was included, it would mean that the only thing separating the Touch and the iPhone is the phone feature itself. Many iPhone owners have also said that if they knew a camera was going to be put on the iPod Touch in the future, they would have just bought an iPod Touch and get something like a Palm Pre or a phone like that. So you guys may be wondering, where did the camera go? Well, Apple have in fact installed a video camera onto the new iPod Nano 5th generation. And this was also announced at the 0909 It's All Rock and Roll event. So what was Apple's reason for installing a camera in the iPod Touch? Well, Steve Jobs, the boss at Apple, basically said that they were not sure how to market the iPod Touch, but they eventually decided that it's a gaming device. Because of this, they saw the iPod Touch as the low-cost way into the App Store, and because they haven't added a lot of stuff to the iPod, they can make it a lot cheaper so everyone can afford it. In my opinion, he's completely right. The Apple Touch can be classed as a media player, a pocket computer, or even a gaming device, which Apple decided to go with. If they included a camera, it would not only make it less of a gaming device, but also more like an iPhone, and probably more expensive, and that would make less people be able to afford it. So do I think there will ever be a camera on the iPod Touch? Truthfully, yes. But do I ever think there should be one? Probably not, but I know that many people disagree. So that was just my opinion on the new iPod Touch 3G, and also why I think Apple did slash did not make certain updates. Please leave comments below and also send me a PM with your opinions on the new iPod Touch. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.